Blake Dahl discovered this last weekend. A snake somehow made its way into his family's home and curled up on his shoe. Yes, mom wants it out. When that wasn't happening fast enough, I volunteered to pick up the snake. That's how the snake wound up at Laura Anderson's. It's been a few years since I had a snake, so we just love having it around. Anderson's six-year-old son has since named it Dan the Snake. I heard him whisper to the glass, we'll be best friends. <laughs> and he is just uh, elated to have an animal in the house. Anderson teaches a junior high career exploration class and says students look forward to hearing daily updates about Dan. It's gotten them to do a little bit of research too, which of course as a teacher is a wonderful teachable moment. It's hard to tell by its markings what kind of snake it is, but its behavior so far seems to be like a bull snake. Having it in hand is the best way to do it because there are little details. Alberta Fish and Wildlife officers also believe it's a bull or gopher snake native to southern Alberta. It's not dangerous, but does require a permit to possess. These permits are typically given out to uh, institutions such as zoos or uh, other educational institutions. Officer Prodan says the problem is living in captivity makes the snake more vulnerable to health issues. In a lot of cases, once the novelty wears off, people will release these animals back into the wild again and inadvertently uh, jeopardize the population by releasing a snake that might be infested with parasites or carry diseases that the wild population wouldn't be able to deal with. Anderson plans to have Fish and Wildlife officers officially identify the snake, saying she'll understand if Dan has to go. But of course, if it's a wild animal, then it would be better suited in the wild. Amanda Anderson, CTV News, Edmonton.